Elizabeth Walker and I am owner of Elizabeth Sarah Collections, a jewelry design company that I created and about 10 years ago. My name is Philip Bennett Walker. Uh, I'm from New Smyrna Beach, Florida. Um, I'm an American artist uh, trying to make my way in the art world. <laughs> we met in a bar. I was 19 and using <laughs> a fake ID. I saw Philip from across the way and I said, damn, he's good looking. I'm gonna go talk to that guy. And he said, oh, what do you do? And I said, oh, you go to school for art. And he said, oh, he said, I'm an artist. I said, oh, really? And it really intrigued me. I was like, oh, I like this guy. And <laughs> I said, oh, what do you paint? What's your medium? And he's like, oh, I, I paint on cardboard. I was like, oh, cardboard, huh? And he's like, yeah, and little did I know how talented he was when I saw all his cardboard art. I think she was pretty much doing art her whole life and I was doing art my whole life. She actually painted um, and loved painting. Uh, and I think when we, our first conversation when we met was about painting. Um, and that's one of the, the, my, the biggest things I love about her is how uh, she was into art and is into art. Um, it kind of keeps us going. Our style, we complement each other for sure. Her jewelry is very elegant, I would say. She's doing gold and silver now. <clears throat> All of her stuff is one of a kind. So you don't have, you know, a hundred other girls out there or ladies out there wearing it. I think because of that, it makes it pretty exclusive to each person that buys one. I got my start in 2001 with an artist in Carbondale, Colorado. Then I worked for her for about a year, and throughout that year, she slowly taught me the trade of um, the wire wrapping technique that I use in my design today, which dates back about 2,000 years. It's the last wire wrapping technique that a machine can't duplicate even in 2015 so I feel really honored to produce jewelry that is genuinely handmade and can't be reproduced. The gemstones themselves come from all over the world a lot of South America um, pearls mainly from Asia and uh, I use a semi-precious gemstones freshwater pearls um, all my metal is either sterling silver or a gold vermeil, which is sterling silver with an overlay of um, either 18 or 22 karat gold. similar style he doesn't necessarily influence any of my jewelry none of it but I feel as though I kind of influence some of his artwork I like to say that I'm pretty good with color and sometimes if he is 
kind of hung up on a color combo, I'd like to think that I can help him. And I'm not technically a painter because I never learned how to paint. So I never learned like technique. So all this painting that I'm doing is pretty much new for me and I'm teaching myself as I go. What we're doing is like people don't realize that 80% of what we're doing is the marketing and driving and setting up and selling and, and, and getting off work to work another eight hours and then waking up the next morning to like fill those orders that you made the night before before you go back to work and and that's 80% of it like 20% is, is making it and saying I'm an artist come buy my stuff like 80% is getting to that point where people will come buy your stuff and um, presentations everything. Social media is very important to us. We definitely depend on gaining followers every day. More and more people. The more people that follow you, are, the more people that like your 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 posts, and and hopefully um, gain revenue and, and bring in people to your website. Um, so every day we we try, without you know shoving it down people's throats, um, to push our our art and our craft through Instagram and Facebook and. And uh, Twitter, Sue gets a lot of likes and followers whenever we whenever we incorporate our mascot. That's what I was saying. She, I mean, she's every bit a part of our business and our our life. I mean, she's there through thick and thin, man. She's every art show, every every outing, every everything. She's the always. The, funny, the funniest thing is when people don't remember your art or your jewelry <laughs> and they remember that you were at the show with your puck. I want my jewelry to transcend uh, in generations. I want mom to have it, grandma to have it, their daughters to have it, to wear it, be proud, um, be a generational pass down. To be able to take any image and put it with my style and people say that's... That's awesome. I, I'll take water. that. Yeah, even yeah. if it's like a, you know, mailbox. <laughs> if I do it in my style, like I hope it would look that cool. You know, that's my goal.